Hey everyone, I've got this UHD 4K action camera from IceFox here for an unboxing and review. As it says, this thing has dual color screen display. That means it's got a screen on the back and a screen on the front. That's awesome. It's waterproof, Wi-Fi capable, and it says Ultra HD 4K. For the waterproofing, it says uh, it's waterproof up to 40 meters. It's also got a uh, built-in color image stabilizer. The built-in electronic image stabilizer helps to keep the video footage stable and smooth, even when on the move. That's what I need. Here's everything that came in the box. Talk about some serious attachments here. This just tells me this thing's going to be able to be mounted darn near everywhere. I'll go through each one of these pieces and tell you what it does. But here's a good look at the camera here. It's still got the lens cover on it. It comes in this case as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open this up because the first thing I want to do is charge it up. So to open this up here, you peel up on, pull up on that. See that just makes the case come apart. There we go, and there's the camera. That is so cool because it's I love that it's got the screen on the front and the screen on the back. That is going to be awesome for videotaping. I'll go through all the functions on this thing. Just want you to get a look at it. Now I'm going to charge it up. So go ahead and take this and plug it into here. And then plug this into the wall. Okay, the first thing I did here was put the battery in and the battery goes in right here. So you just pop this and open that up and the battery slides in and out of there. There's a little tab right there. Now go ahead and get one of these micro SD cards and slide it right in there. First, you're going to want to take off all this, the screen protectors too. There's one here, there, and there. All right, we're ready to record. So just to video, you just push that top button right up there. So I'll show you. I'll take a little video of the accessories here. You know you're recording when you got the red camera light, camera icon. So just kind of recording this stuff here. There's our waterproof cover. Now, if you want to go ahead and watch your video, push that button right there. There we go. And then I'll show you. There we go. There's what we just videotaped. We'll have to fix the date and time on there. As you can see, that uh, needs to be adjusted. And let's say we don't like our video, which in this case, that was just a regular demo video. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Push that trash can icon and then confirm. Confirm. Now we're deleted. If we want to record again, go ahead and push that button there and then start over. Okay, real quick, uh, this is just if you put a brand new uh, micro SD card in here. So I put the 64 one in there, that's the 32. So I put a 64 one in there and it's not formatted yet. So we'll go ahead and click on format. And now it'll format the thing for you. Okay, what I'd like to do now, before I go over all the functions of this camera, is to put it in a case. That way I'm not accidentally touching the lens and putting my fingerprints all over the screens. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here for now. Okay, you might be wondering how do you get the screen on the other side of this thing to work. It's real easy. So when it comes up by default, there's nothing there. So all you do is just hold this button down right there. See that right there? That means it's switching to the other side. There, now we got a camera over there. If you want to switch it back, just hold that down. Okay, there's a few other settings on here I want to show you. So I just went to the main menu here. And so there's more to this than, uh, than just shown here. You can actually scroll down to even view more settings. So you got white balance there, exposure, video quality, ISO, watermark. So there's all the options you'd expect uh, from, a, from a camera there. And then same with uh, the settings there. You can 
you can cancel that. You can scroll up or down on that for various settings. And of course you just go there to return to the menu. So go ahead and turn it off. Okay, to insert this thing, you want that bottom piece down. That way you've got this exposed up here to hit your on and off button for recording. See, if you put it in backwards, you won't be able to hit it with that. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there like that. Take this and then just snap it in there. Now this is for the back of the camera. So when we snap it in there, we're gonna have the lens facing out. That's how that's gonna sit. See, that way it makes it a little bit easier to handle as well. And uh, you can see you can screw in stuff to the top, screw in stuff to the bottom as well. Another nice thing here too, let's put this clip on. If you look back here, there's some slides right there and that clip piece right there will slide right down into the back of that. And you take and clip it on stuff. Also this clip will go this way or it'll snap down that way. To release this clip attachment here, you just push these together on these and push it out. It'll slide right out. This piece here is for cleaning your lens your fingerprints on there and clean it off with this so hang on to that okay now for the next piece this is the battery charger here so you can just go ahead and slap them in there like that and then you plug the charger right into there and plug it into your usb and you can do two at the same time here's what it looks like when it's charging okay the next component here so this is the waterproof cover i'll show you how to put the camera in i'll go ahead and take the lens cover off of that this is kind of a no-brainer just goes in like that, shut that there, and clamp it down. Now what you can do is operate this thing underwater, and there's your record button right there, and then your menu options here for your controls on the side. And then it has some accessories down here for different mounts as well. Okay, this uh, accessory here is for like a handlebar mount. So we'll go ahead and put this piece on there. Start by just unscrewing this. This just slides right in there. And then we'll slide that fastener right in there. There we go, there's our handlebar mount. Okay, it's the same thing for these other ones too. This one, this one, and this one. This will kind of help you adjust your angle you notice these are different heights too, so your camera can sit at different heights. Here it's not gonna stick out so much, here a little bit farther. And I'll show you, you can use them in conjunction with this too. This has a swivel head on it that tightens down as well. So you can put these together right there and then hook that up to the camera there. You can use any of these with this swivel. Okay, here's a cool feature on this next setup. These have double-sided tape on here, so you just peel that tape. You can put it on your helmet, put it on your bow, whatever you want to mount it to. Stick it there, and then what you'll do, same thing with this one. This one's got a threaded insert in it too, so you can thread stuff down on there. This one's just got a, has no insert, but they both insert the same way, and that's using this piece right here. Now you can see these little wings that come off of there. Those are going to slide right in there and I'll show you. So we'll go ahead and get this thing back installed in the camera. Put that there, screw this, screw this piece in. See, there we go, it just slides right down in there. And we can stick it to whatever we want and then operate our camera from there. And then to remove it, we're just gonna wanna squeeze those together and it'll pop that out of there. But it's a nice tight fit, it's not going anywhere. The other option is this one here too. So this one acts just like that. It's just a little bit of a different configuration, but same idea. And it'll slide up into these things here too. Now this is really cool. This can go on your wrist and you can remotely take video and photos with this just by pushing these buttons. And it'll talk to the camera there. And you can put this around your wrist if you want. And then put that on there. You can operate these remote. things here to keep you from losing your camera. You can lanyard it just in the case it falls off however you have it set up. Same thing with this, if you have more of a permanent fix, you can strap it down with these different straps as well for different 
different configurations, zip tie and lanyard. And of course you got a different kind of a window here for the back of this. Okay, now to uh, navigate through your, your screens here, just go ahead and push that button, right? And that'll show you the different settings there. You can push that and you have a whole bunch of different options here. Okay, here to kind of show you the functions of this camera. So you just push this button here, that, and it takes you to this menu. So if you, it's a touch screen, so you can do that. And you can select all your different options here. The other thing you can do to select the different options is press this button right down there. And if you just press this again, okay, this will take you back to that menu. There's your video, and you can scroll through all your different videos that you made. Okay, back to this menu, and this is settings. Kind of shows you, you can adjust your resolution, all kinds of different stuff from here. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi info, press OK to exit. There we go, we're exiting. And now you can see down there, it says laps. Okay, so we want to be on video for right now, but you can scroll through without going to the menu. You can change that. See now here's the photo option. If you want to go ahead and take a photo, right there, we took a photo and we're changing now just by pushing that button right down there. There's auto, burst, timer, and video. And then if you get back to this option here, this just takes you right back to where you came from. All right, now we're ready to go put this thing to use and uh, mount it to some stuff. Okay, what I did here is just mount that little piece right there on the stabilizer on this bow. I'll go ahead and slide the camera in there. Okay, here's a look at a helmet mount too. You can use this as a dash cam too. So you got all kinds of methods available to you to uh, to affix it to your dash somehow. All right, this thing's waterproof too. Hey, I absolutely love this camera. If you're in the market for a camera like this, grab this one. Thanks for watching, everybody.